Wanna cry? I bet at least 57,000 people would want to say yes to that question. A new ransomware using a pre-released NSA exploit kit has been going viral all over the world, taking down airport screens, police stations, government computers, university computers, mostly in Russia, China, and I believe some parts of Europe. Before we take a look at the ransomware itself, here's the advisory. The exploit that's being primarily used to spread this ransomware has been patched in March by Microsoft, so it is strongly recommended that you update your systems in order to remain safe. Of course, there might be other attack vectors involved, so in that case, you will need to back up your system to have any hope of not getting screwed over by this ransomware, because guess what? It is not decryptable. It deletes your shadow copies. So the best way to combat this is to have your backup on an external drive solution. So that being said, let's see what happens when we actually execute this ransomware because it is a little bit different in terms of its action than some of the other contemporary samples. So here we have a recent version of WannaCry. It's detected by about 40 engines at the moment. I just want you to take a look at our files before we do that. We have some pictures here and some documents. But the instant I run this ransomware, well, you don't really need many indicators. The desktop background changes, everything starts getting encrypted. And as you can see on our host system, we have two malware files which were detected showing that this ransomware actually does replicate itself along with encrypting files and this also shows that it attacks network drives as well. Now it's triggering a USC prompt but a lot of the encryption is already done so I don't know what this is for. It's probably to create some kind of a startup item but even if you ignore this you're probably still going to end up with your files being encrypted. So this is the main ransomware window. It gives you two days, 24 hours. Okay, so that's three days to submit your payment before the payment amount gets raised. And your files will be completely destroyed if you do not pay by seven days. A lot of major organizations are having a nightmare because of this, and it just shows that people just do not update their systems as often as they should and do not use reliable ransomware protection. But now, um, let's see what the files actually look like. So you have a readme over here, which gives you some FAQ. And it includes a question, how can I trust you? And it says, don't worry about decryption. We will decrypt your files surely, because nobody will trust us if we cheat users. Well, <laughs> that's a funny statement to make for a cyber criminal. But as you can see, it creates a copy of its decryptor in every folder, and it also includes this readme message. Other than that, you have this WNCRY extension, which is used on all the encrypted files. Seems this window tries to stay on top at all times. Our pictures, as you can see, are encrypted. Let's take a look at the shared folder on my host. I had some images in here, and boom, they're all gone now. And that certainly didn't take long. The executable, it seems, was removed by MCSoft, but the rest of it is still here and encrypted. Let's take a better look at the desktop background. Oops, your important files are encrypted. And it says that if you don't see the executable file, then your antivirus removed it. So you would have to go into the quarantine and restore it, because, wow, I mean... It's really funny when malware instructs you to turn off your antivirus or remove itself from quarantine. And in this case, well, it actually makes sense because there's no other way you can get your files back. Now it also creates this folder on your desktop called task data. There's also another one called MSG. It seems it has different languages, not exactly sure what this is for. But, well, this ransomware is definitely not trying to be secretive about it. It has a ton of crap on your desktop, so it's just trying to freak you out rather than, you know, try to seem professional or hide its stuff somewhere because this could easily have been extracted into some other folder, but the fact that it's done on the desktop shows that it's clearly just trying to scare the user into paying. Now, following some of the story on this ransomware, they were actually able to stop it spreading temporarily by taking down the hard-coded C2 domain, but um, 
it's probably going to be changed and it's going to continue spreading. So we haven't seen the last of it, I can tell you that. So if you're not a victim yet, please take this as an early warning and make sure you have backups of your data in an external drive and update your systems. That is it for this video. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.